Did you know that a woodpecker can peck 12,000 times per day? Amazing, isn't it? Warm welcome, and thank you for joining me. Let's start. The Western Jackdaw, Coloeus Menegula, also known as the Eurasian Jackdaw, the European Jackdaw, or simply the Jackdaw, is a passerine bird in the crow family. Found across Europe, Western Asia and North Africa, it is mostly resident, although northern and eastern populations migrate south in the winter. Four subspecies are recognized, which differ mainly in the coloration of the plumage on the head and nape. The common name derives from the word jack, denoting small, and daw, a less common synonym for jackdaw, and the native English name for the bird. It is a black-plumaged bird with a gray nape and distinctive pale gray irises. It is gregarious and vocal, living in small groups with a complex social structure in farmland, open woodland, on coastal cliffs, and in urban settings. Like its relatives, jackdaws are intelligent birds and have been observed using tools. An omnivorous and opportunistic feeder, it eats a wide variety of plant material and invertebrates, as well as food waste from urban areas. Western jackdaws are monogamous and build simple nests of sticks in cavities in trees, cliffs, or buildings. About five pale blue or blue-green eggs with brown speckles are laid and incubated by the female. The young fledge in four to five weeks. Most of the plumage is a shiny black, with a purple or blue sheen on the crown, forehead, and secondaries, and a green-blue sheen on the throat, primaries, and tail. The cheeks, nape and neck are light gray to grayish silver, and the underparts are slate gray. The legs are black, as is the short stout bill, the length of which is about 75% of the length of the rest of the head. The irises of adults are grayish or silvery white while those of juveniles are light blue, becoming brownish before whitening at around one year of age. The sexes look alike, though the head and neck plumage of male birds fades more with age and wear, particularly just before molting. Western jackdaws undergo a complete molt from June to September in the western parts of their range, and a month later in the east. The purplish sheen of the cap is most prominent just after molting. Generally wary of people in the forest or countryside, western jackdaws are much tamer in urban areas. Highly gregarious, western jackdaws are generally seen in flocks of varying sizes, though males and females pair bond for life and pairs stay together within flocks. Flocks increase in size in autumn and birds congregate at dusk for communal roosting, with up to several thousand individuals gathering at one site. Western jackdaws frequently congregate with hooded crows or rooks, the latter particularly when migrating or roosting. Flocks are targets of coordinated hunting by pairs of lanner falcons, although larger groups are more able to elude the predators. Western jackdaws sometimes mob and drive off larger birds such as European magpies, common ravens, or Egyptian vultures. One gives an alarm call which alerts its conspecifics to gather and attack as a group. Occasionally, a sick or injured western jackdaw is mobbed until it is killed. Now, let's listen to its call. Beautiful, isn't it? Thank you for your support. I hope to see you soon, till then, take care of your family.